Hello again, this is Robert Veach here. This is my video review of the Goyojo brand. This is their pocket thermal imaging camera with dual lenses, infrared. It's 192 by 192 resolution, has 36,860 pixels on the screen right there. I have some of the studio lights off so we can see the screen. Has a 25 hertz refresh rate of the data and it's got two meter drop resistance and it's IP54 uh, and it also goes from minus 4 to 662 degrees Fahrenheit. Right now I have it on one of the settings you can see that my hand shows red. If I go to the table and I touch the table and move my hand away you can see the thermal imprint of where I touched it. Now if you never have one of these types of cameras they're pretty amazing. They're very different than a typical a thermal gun because that you point out one spot this actually gives you an actual image so you can look at things like the the curtains in the background right here you could see any thermal losses you can see the little area right there in the green there's some heat escaping between the curtains and if you're looking at uh, ovens and stoves um, computer equipment PCs laptops it's going to give you a thermal image of that information which is really great so that T54 uh, waterproof dust proof it means that it's uh, dust protected and protected against splashing water which is really nice this has a really nice form factor and if you look at the front right here you see that it has two lenses and an LED light you can turn on and one of these lenses is a regular camera and the other one is a uh, infrared camera so you have a choice you have a button on top right here that is your power button you hold that down to turn it on and off this is a capture button you hit it once and it takes a picture if you hold it down you'll get the little recording symbol on top there and it starts actually recording a video just like you see right there my hand like that and there is a microphone on here when you want to stop it you hit it again there is a microphone built in on this side right here here are your USB-C charging ports. The microphone is right there. I'll show you quickly how to charge this. So charging the pocket thermal camera is very easy. You can take the included USB-A to C and hook the USB-A to any one amp or greater power supply. Here is a power supply I already have in my lab right here. So you plug it in like that and you will get a charging indicator right there and that will disappear after a while then it'll come back letting you know it's fully charged also on the side there is a red LED and that will turn green when the device is fully charged so this is precise thermal sensitivity achieved uh, a really good accuracy with a thermal sensitivity of minus 0.04 degrees C and uh, a net D of less than 40 MK. You can look that up what that means. Ensuring even the slightest temperature variations are detected. Perfect for home, automotive, industrial applications. This is excellent if you got a problem on your engine and you have some heat leaking out of a gasket. This is going to show you what's going on. It's got superior IR resolution. That, that 192 by 192 and that high pixel 36,860 provides detailed temperature data surpasses the competition ideal for professional inspectors diagnostics and more and the homeowner if you have leaking windows this is going to let you see the windows that the cold air is coming out or the hot air is coming in this also has a uh, built-in LED work light as I talked about for illuminating dark areas has auto um, audio alarms and warning lights for temperature alerts I'm going to show you how to set that and full spectrum temperature measurement to identify temperature variations with max, min, and center spot measurements, which is really invaluable for HVAC electrical building inspections. And again, real time functionality because of that swift 25 hertz refresh rate. You can see that it's, there's hardly any delay there. So you'll be able to capture anything that's actually moving thermally across there. And the, the company has an incredible warranty on here, uh, which is provided, which I've never heard of something like this. It has a two-year battery warranty on here, a three-year device itself warranty, and a 10-year sensor warranty on the sensors. 
including that camera on there because it's a dual lens. This product also gets five star ratings. And this company, Koyojo, makes professional thermal imaging products like this, thermal monoculars, ultrasound, veterinarian scanners, and even scuba tanks. So they've been around for about 10, 12 years. They make some amazing products. So let's go over some of the features of this. Before I forget, it also comes with a little holder so that you could attach it and uh, have it right there. And it has a quarter 20 uh, tripod mount, which we're gonna show. That's really nice so that you can get some really stable imagery and videos of something you're measuring thermally. It also comes with a basic manual showing you how to use the display. That what I would recommend is you uh, keep this video when you buy this so you see how to operate it, but it's really simple. It's all menu driven. So once you play with the menu, you'll see it uh, uh, fully operate the unit. Here's just a quick little example. I have an LED light, which are pretty efficient. So let's just put it in front of it. And you see right there, it shows you the thermal losses. And you can see the red right there because the heat is rising. A little bit of red in the center, but the rest is all green all the way around it. Here's the studio light, LED. And if we look at that, you can see that the heat is on the ring portion of it. And if you look at the back, let's look at the back right here with the light. You can see that it's cool on the back. So the heat is being dissipated on the outer part of that LED studio light. Here's my Pixel 6. And where do you think the heat dissipation, what's going on here? And you can see right on the display that it is warm because that's typically where the heat's being dissipated, where the LED lights are on the actual uh, display of the Pixel 6. So here's just a quick example. I have a small tripod, nice small durable durable one. And uh, it's really great because you could keep this all stable. And here I'm measuring the curtains, the losses, but keeps the whole unit stable. Okay, so here I've got it on a tripod and I'm gonna be showing uh, the screen settings on here. So right now it's in the infrared mode, as you can see with my hand right there. and it's in the automatic mode. You see the word auto right there? That means it's gonna automatically adjust and do calibration. If you hit the manual mode there, now you can manually go through and you could change the center point. You can make it colder or hotter, depending on what you're measuring. You hit the okay button there. So I like to use the automatic because it uh, allows it to self adjust itself essentially automatic back right there. Now the display right now is a color display. If you want to change the display right here, you go right here and you have the mode right there, which is thermo, which is what it's on. This mode here is called fusion, which is a different, you can see it's got dual images overlaid. You can kind of see the thermal images and on the line, a little bit unique. Then you have this picture in picture mode, which could be useful for some applications. And then you have a level adjustment mode. You can see right here, it's actually combining the regular camera and you have adjustment of the sensitivity on there. It's combining the two regular camera with the thermal camera. Then you go back right like this and you can go back to the thermal camera display. Now on that thermal camera, you have a choice of what the display is gonna look like. Uh, let's hit this button right here that turns it off. Let's see. So you hit that button there and now you have different modes. So you have black hot. So anything that's warmer than the ambient is gonna show dark and you can see my hand is showing dark. Then you have white hot, so it's just the opposite. Then you have our iron bow, I think they're calling it. And that's a pretty typical one for most units. Then you have rainbow. And then the final one right here, is rain. Now all of these are up to you, what you want to use, depending on what you're measuring. And uh, it really depends on what you're gonna measure and what you want to set it to. Now there is a home button right there. Anytime you want to go to home button, this will allow you to play back or delete your video recordings. And you see pictures are stills, and then you hit the play and you have the video. I took a video earlier of that LED light. And we're gonna to connect to the computer to see how you could uh, 
get this data and video on your computer. You can walk through your pictures or your video right there. Get out of the mode by just hitting this top button right here. Now I'll go back to the home screen. There is a setting screen right here, which is nice. You could do all the different settings. You have measurement settings right there. Temperature range, you could set that. You could have an auto switch between the low and high, minus four to 302. Or you could just set it to that range if you know your range, or if it's gonna be a higher range like an engine block, you could set that or auto switch that. You have emissivity you can set, reflection temperature, distance. So right now I have it on there, but you could have it change the distance that you're further away or closer to a product, a project, or product, or whatever you're measuring. And the humidity control, you could control the humidity block also on there. There's alarm settings. So you can turn the temperature alarm on so that it'll go off at a certain temperature. And that's handy so that if you're measuring something and you're worried about it, you want to have an alarm. Flashing alarm, you could turn that on also uh, so that you know when you're being alerted. It's also connections right here. And you can see you've got a Wi-Fi hotspot or USB cast screen. You can cast it. You can connect to your Wi-Fi. I actually have it connected to my Wi-Fi right now. That's handy. And then you have display settings right here. Time and date, parameters you could set to have those displayed. And capture settings right here. Save a visual image and uh, you could turn that on. Super infrared is on capture mode. Uh, file name header is on IMG. Capture one image so you can do there multiple images. Device settings. You have the units right here and temperature. And right now I have it in Fahrenheit, which you can go to Celsius, really nice. I'm more familiar with Fahrenheit, and you have the language of English. Auto power off, you can turn on and off if you want, if a certain amount of time, it's up to you to save the battery. You got screen brightness right here, you can, you can ramp it up a little bit if you want to for screen brightness. So you can see this has a lot of settings on here, but it's not confusing. They laid this out really, really nicely because the manual just gives real general information. But once you start touching the screen and using it, you'll be really impressed with how they laid this thing out. Anytime you want to take a picture, I'll just mention again, you click it once, then you hold this for a video just like that. And it comes up with the little video recorder. And again, there is that microphone on the uh, side of it on the bottom right there. You hit this again. It stops the video and records it. Anytime you want to turn this off, you hold the button, which is kind of recessed a little bit, just like that, and it'll turn the unit off. Then turning it on, you just hold the button down again, and it comes with the display, and it turns it back on, ready for you to start using. Very simple and very well laid out uh, graphics on here. The menu system is, I'm really impressed with it. So by default, this little, uh, bullseye comes in the center mode and it's where it stays centered and it's going to tell you the temperature whatever is inside there you could also move this to the cold and then you see that blue moving around it's trying to show you the cold area right there is by the curtains then if you hit hot it's trying to focus in on the hot area then all of a sudden it starts going by my hand showing me the hot area and giving you actual temperature of that really really nice so here's another example. Here's a freezer. And if I look at whether well, it's working, you see how it's showing those lighter colors there because it's really cool. So it's showing me minus 3.6, minus 9. So that's very, very cold and it's giving you that thermal information. Now on the other hand, if I go to the refrigerator, you wouldn't expect that a cold of temperature. And you can see it's showing about 37, 38 degrees. That's what a refrigerator should be running. And you can see any differences in there, depending on whether you put something in there that's colder or warmer. But it gives you a lot of information. There's another application. If you're into the paranormal field, which I am, and you're bringing on an investigation, you can set up a tripod and you can use the one mode, which is a combination of uh, visual imagery plus uh, infrared. And of course, if something were to go in front of that, uh, it would then display that information so that you can trigger it and be doing an actual video recording of that for a paranormal event. Here's in my kitchen and I have a can LED light 
but if if you uh, use the thermal gun you could see the you could see the light right there and you could see the color right there and the temperature so if that was an incandescent bulb it would uh, be showing that it would be uh, way hotter than 66 degrees it would be more on the order of 120 degrees so it helps you identify what lights you might have in case you forgot which one were LED or which one were incandescent and without having to go on a ladder to figure that out or change them. Another application is if you have the seals on your refrigerator going bad and you want to know you put it on one of the modes right there and you can go up and down the seam right there to see if there's any losses. Now here there's nothing coming out so there's no heat loss but if those gaskets were bad you would see the red coming out right there so that's real helpful to learn about. And in the winter time whether it's in your garage door or your front door you could have thermal losses on those seals right there so if you put the thermal camera right there you can go up and down those seals and if there was thermal losses you would start to see so right on the bottom there I could actually see some losses occurring because the gasket is wearing out but all around it's pretty good and lets you know the efficiency of the gases which is really important for energy conservation. So here I want to demonstrate I plugged in a USB-C cable you can use any one that's data or the included one right there and I've got a Windows 11 computer and you can see that it comes up on my screen and it has the DCIM folder and there is all the pictures and images and videos that I took uh, so far with the device. So you can bring them on your computer and you can edit them or you could share them with somebody else, a technical colleague of yours. So that's really nice to have that ability. And what's nice is not only is the video there, recording symbol on top there and it starts actually recording a video. So but you actually have sound also right on the like file, that. which is and nice. There is a microphone and it's very good sound too. So here I'm running a program called Media Info, and I just want to show you the video file. So it's MPEG-4, and you can see the size 240 by 240, variable bit rate 25 frames per second, which is what they're saying, and it goes up to 29 frames per second. Progressive. So it's a very usable format that you could edit with and share with other people. So after testing, what do you think about the Goyojo brand, their pocket thermal imaging camera? I love this product. I love the form factor of it, the rubberized feel of it. It feels really durable. You can see there's protection all across here. The built-in memory, the ability to connect to your computer, the nice case holder, charging cable, high resolution screen, and that 192 by 192 resolution at 25 hertz refresh rate. All the menu options on here work really well. The tripod function works well. This is an excellent product to have in your arsenal of tools to allow you to thermally check a lot of things in your house or in your business. I'm gonna highly recommend this product. I really love it. And I think you will also. I'm gonna give it a full five-star rating. Please remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you alerted to new video uploads. And if you thought this review was helpful, please hit the like button. There will be an ordering link in the information section of this video review. Please use that link when you order this product to help support this channel. I hope this video review helped you with your buying decision. Thank you for watching.